Hello dear students, welcome again to your geometry class. This is Faridullah Mazai, one of mathematics lecturer in TMF. Dear students, in our previous lessons we studied that when a plane intersects a cone at different angles, conic sec sections will form. Conic sections are circle, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. We studied circle with all details and we will study parabola and hyperbola in our upcoming lessons. Today we are going to study ellipse. In here we can see this is the a shape of cone. In here line L is called uh, axis of this uh, shape and line T is called generator of this cone and point P is vertex of this cone. In here we can see we have plane P. When this plane P intersect this cone at an angle 90 degree. Here you can see alpha is less than 90 degree. The shape which is forming here is called ellipse and also we have another definition for ellipse too. An ellipse is a set of points in a plane whose distance from two fixed points in a plane have a constant sum. Dear students, we studied in uh, circle that circle is a set of points that are uh, equidistant from a fixed point. Fixed point is called uh, center in here. Also ellipse is a set of points which have a constant sum from two fixed points. In here you can see, in here we have two fixed points, F and F prime. And in here we have some points R, B, Q and P. These points must have equidistant from these two points. In here you can see that this, the sum of these two distance must be equal with the sum of this two distance must be equal with the sum of this two distance. Also symbolically you can show it like this. Rf, which is this distance, plus Rf prime, which is this distance, must equal with Pf, which is this distance, plus Pf prime, which is this one. And also must be equal with Qf plus Qf prime, which is equal with Af plus Af prime. Af is this distance and Af prime is this distance. And also this one is equal with Af prime, A prime, plus A prime, F. In here, we, you, can, you can see that every ellipse have two axes. One of them is major axis and the other is minor axis. In here, this axis is called major axis. AA is called major axis. And BB is called, BB prime is called minor axis of this uh, ellipse. And also, every ellipse have two foci, which are point F, and point F prime and also every ellipse have four vertices which are A, A prime, B and B prime. Now we are going to study length of axis of an ellipse. Dear students, we have studied that we, every ellipse have two axes which are A prime and A and B prime and B. In here A, A is major axis and B, B is minor axis. Major axis is equal with 2A and minor axis is equal to 2b and the distance between the foci of this uh, ellipse is equal to c. So how do we found these three equations? Look at here. From the definition of ellipse we can say that af plus af prime is equal to a plus a. Why? Because of that. From b up to this fo focus we have a and from b up to this focus we have also A. So A plus A must be equal with this distance plus this distance. Because this distance and this distance is the distance between A and these forces. So now also we know that AF is equal to AF prime. It means that this distance is equal with this one. So now instead of this AF, we can write AF A prime F prime. So when we put in instead of AF A prime and F prime, we will get A prime F prime plus a f prime is equal to a. In here you can see a prime f prime is this distance and a f prime is this distance. So this distance plus this distance is equal with the major axis of this ellipse. It means that a prime f prime plus a f prime is equal to a a prime. So now a a prime is equal to a. It means that the major axis of this ellipse is equal to a. Also we know that uh, in here we have B. So this distance is equal to this distance. It means that OB is equal to OB prime. 
because ellipse is symmetric, uh, symmetric about its axis. So we can write that OB is equal to OB prime. So in here you know that OB is equal to B. So BB prime is equal to 2B. B plus B is equal to 2B. And also in here we have C and also in here we have C, the distance between the forces of this ellipse is equal to 2C. In here we can see. So for finding A, B and C of an ellipse, we have like this equation from the Pythagoras theorem. In here we can see that in here we have a right triangle. In here we have a right triangle. So Pythagoras theorem says that, that the hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of this right side's square. It means that A square is equal to B square plus C square. From this equation we can find A, B and C. Also, when our ellipse lie on a vertical axis, on that time also AA is equal to A. In here AA is minor axis. F, F prime it, it means if F prime means that distance between F and F, which is uh, the distance between center and focus of this ellipse, is equal to 2C. And B, B, B prime is equal to 2B, it means the major axis is 2B. Also, we can prove these three equations like those equations. BF plus BF prime is equal to B plus B. In here we can see BF plus BF prime is equal to B plus B. So B plus B is equal to 2B. From the definition of ellipse, we can write this equation. Now, BF is equal to B prime F prime. It means that this distance is equal to this one. So now instead of this BF, you can write B prime F prime. So B prime F prime plus BF prime is equal to 2B. In here, B prime F prime plus BF prime is equal to B, B prime. It means major axis of this ellipse. So is equal to 2B. So major axis of this ellipse is equal to 2B. And minor axis of this ellipse is equal to 2A. And also the distance between the focus A is equal to 2C. Now, in here also we have a right triangle. This is a right triangle. So from the Pythagoras theorem you can write that hypotenuse square, it means that B square is equal to A square plus C square. So dear students, now let's summarize our lesson. In, today we studied ellipse. Also, we studied that ellipse is when a, a, a plane intersects a cone at an angle less than 90 degrees with its axis, ellipse will form. Also, every ellipse has two axes, major axis and minor axis. Long axis is called major axis and small axis is called minor axis. Also, every uh, ellipse has two fusi, f and f of or fusi of this uh, shape. And every ellipse has four vertex, a, a prime, b and b prime are vertices of this ellipse and also we studied that from these equations we can found a b and c from this when uh, we, we use this equation for those ellipses that uh, their focus or lie on horizontal uh, axis but when the focus of a center lie on vertical axis on that time we can found a b and c from this equation now i'm going to solve some examples in these equations first example the force of an ellipse is 3 and 0 and minus 3 and 0 and the length of its minor axis is 8 cm. Find the coordinate of vertices of this ellipse. Dear students, in here we have an ellipse and the focus of this ellipse is minus 3 and 3 which is given in the question. And also the question says that, that minor axis is equal to 8 cm. In here the minor axis is B, B prime. It means that B, B prime is equal to 8. And also we have studied that B, B prime is equal to 2B. From here we can write that 2B is equal to 8 and B is equal to 4 cm. So it means that this distance is 4 cm. B is equal to 4 and this distance, distance is always 4. B is equal to minus 4. So dear students, in here we have B and C so we can find A easily. From the Pythagoras theorem, we have a square is equal to b square plus c square. a square is equal to b square. b is equal to 4, it means that 4 square plus c square. c is equal to 3, it means 3 square. So a square is equal to 16 plus 9, which is equal to 25. When we get square root of both sides, a will be equal to 5. It means that this distance is equal to a which is equal to 5, and this distance is always equal to A. So A 
prime is equal to 5 and a is equal to minus 5. So the question asked us, find the vertices of this ellipse. So the vertices of this ellipse are a, a prime, b and b prime. So a is equal to minus 5. a prime is equal to 5 and b is equal to 4 minus b, is equal, uh, b prime is equal to minus 4. Second example, the length of major axis and minor axis of an ellipse is 26 and 10 respectively. Find the distance between 4c. It means that find if f prime equal to what? So dear students, in here minor axis is equal to 26. A a prime is equal to 26. A a prime is equal to 2a. So 2a is equal to 26. A a prime is equal to 2a. So in here we can write that 26 is equal to 2a. From here a is equal to 13. Also, B, B prime, which is minor axis, is equal to 10. And B, B prime, is equal to 2B. From here, you can write that 10 is equal to 2B and B is equal to 5. So in here, we have A and B. So how can we find C? We have from the Pythagoras theorem that A square is equal to B square plus C square. When I bring B square to this side, it will be negative. A square minus B square is equal to C square. A is equal to 13, 13 square minus B is equal to 5, 5 square is equal to C square, 13 square is equal to 169, and 5 square is equal to 25, equal to C square, 169 minus 25 is equal to 144, is equal to C square, when we get square root of both sides, 12 will be equal to C. So, if f prime, which is distance between the forces of an ellipse, is equal to 2c. So we can write that 2 times 12 is equal to 24. It means that distance between the forces of this ellipse is equal to 24. So dear students, this was our today's lesson. If you have any problem or any suggestion about today's lesson, you can comment us. See you soon, inshallah. Goodbye.